Hello friends after a long time again we have one more feature in Live Ajax PHP chat application. In this application now we have add remove chat message feature to user who has post chat message in chat system in both one to one chat and group chat also. There are many viewers suggest us to add remove chat feature also to user who has share chat message, so here we have add this feature in our existing chat application. Now let's discuss this feature, if you have see our previous chat application video then in which we have described database system for this application. So in database we have not change any field, we have use existing database for add this feature. This is our chat application working folder, in this we have open index.php page. We want to add delete chat button in both single and group chat to user who has post message, First we have seen how can we add delete button in single chat. Here single chat message has been fetched by using this update chat history data function, and this function has sent Ajax request to fetch user chat history.php file. So we have go this file and here we can see chat message has been fetched by using fetch user chat history function which we have make database connection dot php file. So we have go to database connection dot php file and here we can see fetch user chat history function. Now in this function we have to put chat remove button. This button only visible with message to that user who has share message. So here we can see if condition like dollar from user ID variable is equal to dollar from user ID variable, this condition will be true if message has been shared by login user. In this condition in dollar username variable we have add button code like button type is equal to button class is equal to remove chat and in id we have store dollar row chat message id variable So when user click on this button then particular message will be remove that means message has been store in database but no one can view content of that chat message now friends we have login into chat application by using username John Smith and in password we have enter password. After this we have start chat with Peter Parker by click on start chat button. When we have click on start chat button then chat modal has been pop up on web page. Now we have share one chat message from John Smith account to chat with Peter Parker. So here along with username we can see remove button, this button only visible to John Smith, because he has share this message. Now we have login with username Peter Parker in another browser, and start chat with John Smith, so in John Smith chat message we cannot see remove button. Because this chat message has been shared by John Smith, and this chat message remove rights only to John Smith, Peter Parker cannot remove this chat message. Now we have proceed for how to remove this chat message, so we have go to index.php page. And here we have write dollar document selector with on method, and under this we have right click event with button class remove chat, so when user click on remove button then it will execute this block of code. Under this block we have write chat message id variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write id, 
This method will fetch ID value from remove button and store under chat message ID variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write are you sure you want to remove this chat, if user click on OK button then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have start write Ajax request, and under this we have write first option URL set to remove chat.php, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method, this option define which data send method for send request, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data and under this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send chat message id variable value to server as a data. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function will be called if request completed successfully. Under this function we have called update chat history data function, this function will fetch latest chat message from database and display under chat login modal box. Now we have go to remove chat.php file and here we have write include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post chat message id variable, this this variable value set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat message table, set status column value is equal to 2 where chat message id is equal to dollar post chat message id variable. This is update query, which will change particular chat message status will be changed to two number based on value of dollar post chat message id variable. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Now for execute update query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute update query. After change status of particular chat message to two number, now we do not want to display that chat message whose status is two. For this again we go to database connection.php file and in this file we have go to fetch user chat history function. Under this function here we have defined dollar chat message variable is equal to blank value. After this here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row status variable value is equal to two number, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to string like this message has been removed. So this message will be display in place of delete chat message. Below we have write dollar username is equal to you, that means this block is for login user, and after delete of message, user cannot see remove button also, so here we have only write you. But suppose chat message status is not 2 then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar chat message variable is equal to dollar row chat message variable. So here we store simple chat message under this variable.
After this here we have simple write this code for login user can view delete button for delete chat message. But suppose message is not of login user then it will execute else block and under this block we have write dollar row status variable value is equal to 2. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar chat message is equal to string like this message has been removed, so this message will be visible to receiver user. But suppose chat message status is not to then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar chat message is equal to dollar row chat message variable. Here we have store chat message under local variable. Once chat message here store under dollar chat message variable, now here we have replaced dollar row chat message variable with dollar chat message variable. So it will display delete message if message been removed otherwise it will display chat message to both sender and receiver, sender can see delete button with his chat message, now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, currently we have login in John Smith account. Here we have also post one chat message and with chat message we can see one remove button also. By click on this button, we can remove that chat message from chat history, and now we have click on this button. After click on this button we can see pop box appear and ask are you sure you want to remove this message, so we have click on OK button. After click on OK button in place of chat button we can message like this message has been removed and remove button also remove chat message. So this way sender can remove chat message if he do not want to get in chat history, sender can delete his or her chat message only. Now we have go to Peter Parker account in another browser. So here we can see in chat modal box in John Smith chat history, here we can see this message has been removed message under chat history. So this way sender user can delete his or her message which they has share with another user, in next part we will see how to remove chat message from group chat also. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.